Yo guys, what is going on? It is Midnight bringing you yet again another video. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about Mistigan, the new ceiling unit that has arrived on server 2. I'm not sure if this is on every server, um, but on server 2 he is the current banner in the special shop in the magic show. Um, as you can see down here he is the unit with um, Yukino and Sho. Um, but today we're going to be talking about Mistigan, um, since in the, one of the previous videos we spoke about all tier. Uh, this time we'll speak about Mistigan and show you how good he is. Um, now, for those of you that don't know, um, Mistigan is actually a, where is he? He's a ceiling unit or control as they've got here. Uh, and also he is an SS unit, so he is going to be really good, really expensive to get however. Um, but yeah, we're going to get straight into it. Now to start things off, as I said, he is a ceiling unit, so don't expect too much damage from this guy, don't expect healing, don't expect too much tankiness, expect him to stop the enemy team from dealing damage to you and from healing their team. Um, overall, he has a 1184 ceiling, which is very high, um, considering this is only bond level one. Once you get him in your team, plus your bond level, that will increase. He has high magical defense, very high speed, um, and very high ceiling resistance. Um, he has pretty okay physical defense and magical attack is meh, but as I said, he's not really doing that much damage. The only real way to make this guy any better really is to increase that physical defense. Um, in terms of skills, his common skill is this one here. Um, and what it will do is it will be a chance to seal the enemy target. It has a 30% chance to seal, um, that's the base amount and this seal will work for three turns. This is one that he will use the most often, but we'll get back to this skill in a moment because it doesn't seem that good at the moment, but when you see in a minute with one of these passive skills, you'll see how good this real really is. His other skill, this one here called Skyscraper, will set an enemy into confusion. Um, this will basically make the person on the, on the team that he puts on confusion, uh, they will not be able to use any skills. They'll only be able to basic attack and not only that but they might end up basic attacking your own team um, so yeah if he gets this on someone like your main character or I don't know if you're running Urza or Laxus they're gonna do quite big damage um, to your team if they do end up hitting it and pretty much do no damage at all if they hit the enemy team um, I don't know the exact percentage of this happening although the chances of this happening are quite slim um, but it is AoE so it could happen to multiple people but from what I've gathered, the chances are pretty slim. I'm not 100% sure on what it is though, but they are pretty slim. Um, and his last skill is his damage skill, which is an AOE attack that does 120% of your magical attack um, towards five enemies on the enemy team. Nothing really too much more to say about that. Um, the first passive will go in effect with his Horai Jin skill, which is his AOE. Um, depending on your seal chance, uh, this will apply attack reduction to the primary target, reducing its attack by 40%. So this basically means when he uses that AOE attack, whoever the main target is out of them will have a 40% um, re reduction to attack depending on this guy's seal chance. So the higher, the higher the percentage of this reduction is. So this can be very good, but obviously because it's a computer, he might end up using it on, I don't know, Wendy or Ulti, and they're not gonna do that much damage anyway. So it's a hit or miss, but nonetheless it's very good. Now his second passive is Hypnotic Magic. And basically what this will do is it will make his common skill, this one here, the ceiling one, hit two enemies. So he has a chance when he uses this skill, well, every time he uses this skill, he'll have a chance to seal two enemies or have a higher chance of sealing one because he's got two chances, if that makes sense. So when he uses this skill, he attempts to seal two targets. Um, if you're lucky, you'll get one. If you're very lucky, you'll get both. Um, so he can make two people out of commission on the enemy team for three turns, which is pretty game-changing um, These next skill here um, If there is no enemy target afflicted by a seal at the start of the round Michigan seal chances increase by 5% So if no one sealed then you got an extra 5% here down here when entering a battle you boost your seal chance by 5% and you boost your speed by 3% So as you can see here, this is now turned into a 40% seal chance so overall this unit is very good um, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people got him on our server um, because he is just one of the best ceiling targets in the game in fact he is the best and like it's no questions asked 
even if you pick like Ceiling as your like uh, main class, like Alphabet class, he still just outclasses you. He's just so good. Um, like the second you land the double seal, you basically won the game. Uh, unless like the enemy team is like a lot stronger than you and they can tank like three rounds of hits from you. If you seal two people with that skill, you pretty much win the game. Like no questions asked. Um, but yeah, without further ado, what I'm going to do in the background in a moment is just show you a video of me playing against someone on the server. Um, massive shout out to Dan D. He is uh, one of the players on our server, one of the top players actually. Um, and he's got Mr. Gen, um, so you're going to see Mr. Gen against uh, uh, myself. Obviously I'm going to get my ass whooped, like he literally clapped them cheeks and just absolutely battered me. Um, but it was just really to show you guys the skills that he has. Um, and show you it in actual gameplay rather than just speaking so you get an idea so hopefully you enjoyed the video like and subscribe take care and peace out Hey, <laughs> 